God knows we're special and we're supposed to be nice to everyone. Yes. My man. <laughs> we're done. Because... <laughs> Because God created this beautiful world of diversity. I love it. I Anyone feel else? incredibly blessed to have experienced our children today. First of all, because they are very clear about their relationship with the divine. But also because they are short. <laughs> like me. My favorite passage is, Lo, I am with you all. <laughs> oh, great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by something. Boxes of tissues <laughs> at the end of every pew. than any other people that the Lord set his heart on you and chose you, for you were the fewest of all peoples. It was because the Lord loved you and kept the oath that he swore to your ancestors that the Lord has brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you from the house of slavery, from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Though I am the progeny of slaves, let me tell you how this works. I am also Irish, I know you can't see it, but it's in there. <laughs> Irish and Igbo. <laughs> and Native American. I have a little slice of Cherokee living in me. But I'm mostly black. Do you understand? Because that's the part that can be seen. But all of those realities are going on inside of me. Some were oppressed and others were oppressors. Living in my body. These realities had connected to them conversations about power and domination. Now here we are again. The United States needing to take a good look. These are the sicknesses that happen in our society. And all of us in some way are woven into those realities. Just like the Jewish people who were a part of this conversation today. Is it what light-skinned people believed about dark skin? Is it what the Pentecostals believe about the Methodists? Hallelujah. Is it what the Methodists feel about the Catholics, and vice versa, come on. <laughs> the day 
could come when the people who clap on the one and the three will join the people <laughs> who clap on the two and the four. It can be done. It can be done. Because all of the miscellaneous divisiveness that has been a part of religion has got to come to a halt. If we are going to really bring the realm of God into our atmosphere. Or I dare say that if our young people don't get something better, church as we understand it could become obsolete. There's a time when the coming church will be more racially integrated, more spiritually integrated, more gender integrated, more universal. It will communicate differently. It will be much more transparent than it has, and it must be radically <coughs> inclusive. How dare any of us to feel that God what wants and loves any of us more than the other. Amen. There is a day coming, but I don't know that we're seeing far enough. We are the church. Would you say to your neighbor, we are the church? We are the church. I'm talking to you today because it's time for us to know who we are and know what we are called to do. Even if it makes some of your friends uncomfortable. Even if they would rather you not. If, even if they want you to go back to being who you once were. Where you were silent about your concerns that are happening in this time. Jesus made himself known after they thought he was finished. So that it would be clear to them that he was called to do what he was called to do. And finally this. The absence of fear is often the presence of faith. Come on here. Do we believe, do we believe that there is a right and a wrong in our current political atmosphere? Yes. Something is very wrong. Yes. This is not time for us to be in private country clubs. This is the time for us to speak truth to power. Yes. With a certainty, the people who have taught us have passed away. And this is the time for us. We are the chosen for this time. The earth is on fire. And despots and liars and crooks are seeking to steal the economy of every nation that they can destroy. And there are many religious crooks and religious thieves. It is our time to show up, to be present, with those who think they are the only ones chosen. It is time to listen deeply, yeah. to read deeply, yeah. stop passing the buck, yeah. to overcome fear, yes. ready yourself for the coming days, because there's some folks that mean to win, and if they don't win, they're going to be mad. Yeah. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. Yeah. They've done it once. Yeah. They'll try to do it again. Yeah. Ready yourself for the coming days. Do your justice work out loud in the sight of the oppressor. I believe God has a chosen people, not because of their bloodline or their education or their religion or their race or their holy writ or their citizenship or their power or their money or their skin color or their political party, but because their eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. There is a new day coming, but it's not going to usher itself in. We have to usher it in until justice runs down like water and righteousness like a mighty stream. My eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord, but the Lord is waiting for the coming of us. God bless you. And now unto God, who is able 
to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before the presence of God's glory with exceeding joy. And to the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power. And may that God enable us to go forth to bring the kingdom of God into the earth. It is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.